Welcome to Intergeo TV here at the Intergeo 2015 in Stuttgart. I have an interesting guest today, Ola Rolein, CEO at Hexagon. Welcome. The name is quite Scandinavian, the Americans say Roland or something like that. So let's talk about the Intergeo 2015. You have a lot of meetings, you meet a lot of companies. What is your impression today? No, this is a very big event for the industry and of course for us as players in this industry. It's in Europe which makes it accessible for both, both the Americans and, and people from Asia. And of course in Europe it's the main event for this industry. What are the most important topics you mentioned today? It's a lot of about collecting data and the right data. I think for us as a company, it was important to announce the Hexagon Imagery program, which is about us flying and collecting data about, well, all over Europe and North America. And then we had another presentation where we presented Hexagon Smart Map, which is really about the distribution of the imagery program. How can you use it in applications which are meaningful for, for real customers? How were the reactions? I think so far we've had really positive reactions and uh, it's a growing business and uh, if people are willing to pay, it's usually a good idea. Good idea, so always good for business. So let's talk about business. The business was good at your company in the past. What are the chances and the challenges for the present and the future? I think uh, it, it's really... It's a, it's a privilege being in this industry because there are so many things we can do for the future. Like all businesses, we're watching the macroeconomic development with China, the oil price and so on, and that has an impact on, on our business, of course, like everybody else. If you talk about the customers, which is the most important thing, I think, you have to talk about the contact you get into them. You make a lot of research about their needs, what we typically do is that we team up with the uh, customers that we, we call beta partners and we try to develop new products together with them and learn from the customers how the next generation products should look like. And, and by doing that we, we usually don't make too many mistakes when, when launching new technologies. It's something someone out there wants. If we talking about uh, development in the markets, there is the one part, the hardware on the one hand, the software on the other hand, the data, the collecting, all these modifying topics. What you see in the evolution of hardware, there's still uh, a lot we can expect, or is it more than you said before about uh, the mapping, the data, so all everything? I mean, we, we are uniquely positioned because we're a software company, but we're also a hardware company, so we do mm -hmm. both. And, and hardware will always be about more efficiency, more precision, more productivity, and, and that will, of course, continue. But, but what I think the overriding trend for the next couple of years is to make it accessible, to make all sorts of... Um, people from various parts of society being able to use the hardware. And then I talk about the user interface. We, we all know what smartphone phones have done for us in our everyday life. And we need to some extent to introduce, well, simplified user interfaces so that many mm. other uh, people can use our technologies than just uh, professionals. The other trend is really the merger between software and hardware. I think more and more we're going to see this merge into one product offering where it's almost a seamless communication between software and hardware. You can't talk about either or, it's, it's really one product. If you leave Stuttgart tonight, what impressions are you going to take with you? Uh, it's a, it's a really impressive show, and uh, it's improved a lot. I think last time I was at Intergeo was in 2008, okay. and it's grown a lot, and uh, keep up the good work. So have a safe trip. It was good to have you here, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.